In this question, we are given the kind of vector field associated with a function f and some of its level curves. Now, we're not given any values for the level curves, but we do have kind of different shaded lines to tell. So I have a thick, thick dashed line, a thin dashed line, a thin solid line, that thin dashed line again, and then a thick and a thicker level curve. So first, I want to approximate the critical points of f and classify each one. Well, I see two points that are going to be critical points, and the first one is at the origin. So right here, where the level curves cross themselves, that's going to be a saddle point. And let me go ahead and label our axes. I forgot. All right, just to give us a general idea. And then the second critical point is going to be the center of these concentric rings. See, I have two full ovals that share a center and then these curves outward. And that is the point one, negative one. And with those concentric circles, I'm either looking at a local minimum or a local maximum. And to tell which one, I want to look at the direction that the gradient vectors are pointing. So the gradient vectors are going to point in the direction of greatest increase. So if I'm looking at a max, the gradient vectors will point in towards the center. And then if it's a minimum, they'll point out. And here they do all point out. So it's increasing, increasing away from that center, making one negative one a local minimum. And with this information, I want to give a value to each of the level curves, and I've given negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 to use. So I guess the easiest one to start with is the largest level curve, and that is going to be the one farthest out. So I increase, increase all the way to my thickest line. So I'm going to call that one 2. And then the next one in, I'm going to label as 1, so it increases to that, but then it keeps increasing to 2. And then the next curve, if I'm decreasing, is the thin line, so I'm going to call that 0. And then inside of that, I have the thin dashed line, so I'm going to call that negative 1. And then that leaves the thick dashed line to be negative 2. And we can check this. So start with negative 2. I am increasing into negative 1, increasing into 0, increasing to 1, and increasing down to 2. So once more, thick dash negative 2, thin dash negative 1, thin 0, thick 1, thicker 2. And we're all set.